One of the things we want to get to today before it rains the next couple of days is that last year, last summer, Mark at I Am Organic Gardening sent us this 25 pound bag of buckwheat, organic buckwheat, to work into this field and this upper pasture field, small, for about a half acre, uh, in hopes of trying to improve the soil and work on the soil here and increase the fertility of it. So last year, if you saw these videos, we just went to Tractor Supply and put out a 20 pound bag of just sunflower seeds, uh, gray stripe sunflower seeds, and they actually did really pretty well uh, hit a drought so that that sort of affected I think their growth probably would have done a little bit better but overall did pretty well and then we put a food plot up here in the fall for deer and that has done okay what I want to do is I've been reading this book and I'm gonna I'm sure mess up his name Masanobu Fukuoka uh, so some of y'all are probably aware of this man, a uh, farmer in Japan, and they would say philosopher, who developed what he calls a natural farming method or do-nothing farming method. And just really intrigued by this idea of uh, going further than sort of a, a no-till or no deep till. And what we did last year was just a light till on the surface. Uh, what he does is put seeds in, go ahead and distribute his seeds, rice and, and wheat and winter crops, while the plants are still up, get the seeds out there, and then we'll go in and cut all of this to drop down a straw layer or a mulch layer, a green manure layer on top of those seeds. It's really interesting. So I want to try it. Uh, I want to try it with this buckwheat, which we're going to put in here to hopefully continue just growing crops in here, but also to the buckwheat will serve as a forage for our bees. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to spread these spread seeds in this uh, in this field, and then come back over it in a few minutes and bush hog over. Rain will come tomorrow, and hopefully have germination and a mix of things coming back up in it. But this isn't about production or you know yield or anything like that. We're really just trying to focus on healing the soil up here and getting improved soil fertility for things we want to do in the future. We want to do it naturally and organically and you know with as little inputs in some ways as possible. Let nature take its course, let things work as they would so we're going to try this method and see what happens and we'll bring you along so this will be part one of this and we'll bring along updates and see how things go as uh, well as they grow hopefully This will be our fourth summer on the farm. Obviously the first summer we didn't put even attempt to put anything into the ground. Second summer we tried, didn't grow much. Last summer uh, was our best summer in terms of growing food, producing food on the farm. Uh, but the one thing we have not been able to do successfully is grow corn, sweet corn especially. We tried to grow it in this area right here last year. Uh, but only with minimal soil uh, improvement or amendments. We had put mulch down, I think the previous year, wood chips. 
Those that decompose some, we tilled it into what is basically sand up here. We've talked about that in a number of videos. And it just wasn't, uh, there wasn't enough there for the corn to grow. It got about this tall and that was it. Uh, it's, most of it never tasseled. I think a few plants did and uh, we just, we didn't get any corn. So we've been working on this. It's one of the, probably one of the single biggest goals that we have is to grow some corn, sweet corn on our property. We've been working on this spot for, well, since last summer as we tilled all that, the corn back in. Uh, we had added in the fall all of the leaves from our yard. We moved out here, relocated into this one strip, and we would continue to till it in over the winter into the soil or into the, the sandy soil that was there. And when we graded around the greenhouse, on one side of the greenhouse, we had put wood chips in about a 10 foot wide strip between the garden and the greenhouse and before grading that we scraped all of that decomposed wood chips it had created a really nice topsoil loaded with earthworms and everything else we scraped all of that back off of the the sand and red clay that was underneath it put it into a pile we have moved all of that topsoil in here and distributed it throughout this bed and then all of our compost that we created, which is made from the hay we take out of our pastures, put into the chicken coop, and of course, which the chickens drop their manure on it. And we have composted that with all of our scraps and everything else we've pulled off the farm. And we made several cubic yards of compost. And so we've distributed that all on top of uh, everything else that we have put in there to amend this, to try to build soil. You can see the difference between the red clay in this area over here, and then you can see how dark this is. I've just tilled again one more row here, and I'm getting ready to just till one more time these parts to really mix all of this together, everything that we've been making for the last year. And then we're gonna get some sweet corn into the ground in here, and hopefully this will be the summer that we finally get corn growing on our farm. The rain came a lot harder and faster than expected. Actually, a thunderstorm, so we had to take cover in the house, but now we're gonna get back out here and put seeds in the ground. the joy of our farm. What'd you hit? A horseshoe. Of course there was a horseshoe out in the yard. After four years, it unearthed itself. So what happened? Uh, I guess it went under and threw the belt off. job fixing it all right it's good to have him be able to fix things he mows the grass all right get this back up and running right yes got it kind of a Goofy thing. Cleaned it up. Got it all back together. Ready to start it. See if it runs. Yep. All right. Good job. Peaches. Look at them. 
that's pretty exciting. These ones are actually all healthy. Don't have any bugs or anything on them. They just haven't found them, I guess. Hopefully they never will. We even have a couple of apples growing. Or on this old tree that has been on our been on this farm for a while but been trying to work on it hopefully the deer won't come in here and eat all of these this year days later we've already got corn starting to come up and last but not least what's really growing is our apiary so you can see we've got 12 hives over here the swarm that we caught when we get it moved over here, that'll make 13. So, and the bees, while I'm not able to get in and work on them, um, the missus has, and everything's looking great. They are going like, going like gangbusters and putting away a lot of honey. So this will be a good summer for a honey harvest. Really excited about that. But what is not growing is the wood pile. You see, it was a, uh, a rough winter. All, that's all we have left, had left at the end of the winter was that one pallet that's left up there. So we have got, uh, got to get to work on putting some firewood back up here and stocking this whole thing up. We're way late on that. You're supposed to have your firewood cut and split and stacked by Easter. And well, that just didn't happen. That greenhouse project, which is great, we got the greenhouse now, but the time, all the time that really went into that meant time not spent on a lot of other things, just maintenance, normal maintenance things on the farm that we should have done. But, uh, and it is, it's a little, it's a little tough at the, the start of summer. I mean, I'm blessed to have time off uh, from work to be able to do all of these things. But you do have a lot of projects that you wanna try and do and a finite amount of time. So we're gonna keep plugging away. That'll be it for this just update video. Um, we're trying to get some stuff into the garden and get going on that. And a little, a project we're doing there is trying to get an automated watering system, which we'll bring you, we'll talk about and show you in the next video, just what we're doing for that. And, um, well, that's it. I hope everybody's having a, a great, had a great end uh, of the month of May and a, a good start to June. And, uh, it has been really beautiful here in North Carolina, low humidity temperatures haven't been super hot, but, uh, Anyways, that's it. Hope everyone's well. Until the next video from here at St. Isidore's Farm. Take care and God bless.